This is called B and K 500 tube tester. This one was refurbished by me. It's all been rebuilt. It works really good. The only bad part about this is it can only check. It checks double tubes like double triodes or double panels in parallel. It can't test test the sections individually. But for matching tubes, this thing does a very good job. It's a uh, you know mutual conductance tester. It was made in 1956. It was the first one they came out with. It it works really well. And it's pretty easy to rebuild. I'm gonna get over to schematics now. Here's the schematic right here. Here, the three filter caps are in here. They're not orientated the other way. Here's the two slating rectifiers. Those are replaced. There's a capacitor here that's got to be replaced and one on the meter. There's three potentiometers in this that have to be calibrated to calibrate this unit. The first one is the DC bias, the AC bias, and that's R19. The other one's over here, R9. That gets the DC bias. And R3, R3 is the one for the meter. The one for the meter is right under here, and the other two are over here. The one for AC, and then the DC one to calibrate it. So what you want to do, get a picture here. Here's what the filter caps, those need to be replaced. They're orientated different ways, so you should take them out at one time. Those are replaced. There's two other capacitors in there that have to be replaced. Here's the, the selenium rectifiers are here. They unhook those. You can see where they put diodes in here. And other people on the net cover. This is from EEEV blog. This is where this picture is from. And they show it if you get messed up. I do the, these at one at a time. And if you have trouble with the, with the diodes, you can look at what they did here. That's what I did when I got messed up. The other thing is there's three pilot lamps in this tube tester. And you need to check them and make sure they're all working. Otherwise, it could throw the calibration off. Okay, so once I got that done, I got the, all the caps replaced and the thing was working right. Then, if you go to do, do yourself audio, it explains how to calibrate this thing. And there's three potentiometers, one's for, the D, one's for AC volts, one's for DC volts bias, and the other one's for the meter. And the meter ones under here, those have to be calibrated. The other ones I didn't really check, but you have to calibrate it. Okay, after we did that, the real weakness of this, another bad thing with this thing was, you can't text, you can't test an EL846 BQ52. So on tube, on number seven, the last one, 7J, is right here, and it was a 6, 6 CL6 tube. I just rewired it. I went to this blog, and it's called Audio Asylum. I went in there and they showed you how I did it, but what I did was I printed out the six CL6 tube pins, and then the six BQ5, and then from those, when I had them both printed, I could just figure it out. So now I can test an EL84. This is a pretty good tube tester. It's really good for matching things. Uh, you need to rebuild it, and it, you know you'll have a decent.